This is Mucar 892 Bluetooth version. You could already see this one on my channel. My friend reviewed it when I was out of the country a few months ago. But after I got back, I have tried it on different cars. I did some testing of this tool. So now I will show you everything it can do. We will take a look at checking live data with this scanner. We will do some bidirectional testing. We will be adapting remote control on this key, which doesn't work right now. We will do some coding. And I will show you scanning vehicle on multiple cars because since my friend did video, the new car got new update. And now full scan is interesting because you can choose between different options of how you want to scan car. So I will show you all that. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I'm Yuri, I test OBD2 scanners, I have tested hundreds of them, and all the best scanners I have put on my website, on the page OBD2 scanner guide, it is linked in the description, and on that page you can choose best OBD2 scanners by budget type or car brand. And if you are not sure which scanner type is for you, click the link on top, download my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide, and I will send you a short PDF which explains differences between scanners and you will know which one is right for you. Okay, so this is the tablet Mucar. 892 compared to other scan tools it is very light very easy to carry around but tablet is also fast for example lately i have been reviewing bunch of x tool scan tools which are amazing i must say however they have slow tablets this milker has fast tablet let me show you so first i will plug in my vci don't forget to turn on ignition when we are using scanner and now i will go ahead and choose volkswagen out of list of brands Okay, now this is the scanning new features after update, so you can check this out. We have bunch of options, how we can do the scan. We have high speed scan, then we have smart scan, gateway scan, system scan or choose to scan. So high speed scan, it will be for that quick check. But choose to scan is very interesting because here you can choose only systems you want to scan, right? So let's say I want to scan only four modules. I don't have to scan full car. I will just select modules I want to scan. This I never seen in other scan tool. And right on this first page, you basically have everything. You can see full system list, which is list of control modules that could be technically in this car because it is a Volkswagen. So it will give me a list of all Volkswagen control modules. Then there is also so easy access to service procedures. So here I have a list of service procedures I could use. Guided functions. This is special to VAC cars. So the scanner would guide me through some coding or adaptations. And then of course online coding if I need to code module after replacement. So let's try this high speed scan. Scan is really fast because I have tried a bunch of different scan tools on this car. Like VDAC tool, iCarsoft, X tool, OBD11. And all took like about 2-3 minutes to scan full car. Here we are already at 50% and it was just a couple of seconds. I believe full scan is under one minute, maybe even faster. And we can already see a bunch of faults. Now next to each fault, we also have this Mu AI. So this is MuCare AI, which will tell you some more information about fault codes, but about that later. Now you can make diagnostic report, you can input your shop information, customer information, almost everything here can be customized if you want to give out reports to your customers. Also, I forget, if you want to buy Mucar scan tool, there is a link in the description to my Finker website, that is official website of Mucar. And if you use coupon CarHacker, you will get 10% off, so you will get about $50 discount if you use it. So now after full scan is done, I can enter some module individually. Let's go for example to climate control module. And in every module you have a lot of options like checking module information. Here is some coding numbers, manufacturer numbers, part number, module information. There is some another additional information of this control module. We can read codes. So this is reading codes only for one module. So if I am in climate control module, I am reading codes for climate control module. And for every code, you can read freeze frame, but it is not supported for all faults you will have. Then you can do Google search. So search some more information about code and check data stream. But this sensor apparently doesn't have any data we could watch. And then you also have this Mu AI intelligent assistant. So this will give me some extra information about code. For this particular code, it is not very helpful. But for some codes, you can get some really helpful advice. And some codes even include images. So for some codes, it can be helpful. And for other codes, not that much. Depends on fault. 
Then here you can also clear the code, but I know it will not help because it is permanent fault. See, I tried to clear it, but it is still there because it is open fault. Next, you can check live data. Now, this surprised me. I believe this was also part of the update because I think you could not watch as many live data graphs before. Check this out. I have selected some values and you can actually watch 12 different live data graphs at once, which is amazing in this scanner. Usually these scan tools will support about four live data graphs at once. And then for one graph, if you want to combine multiple values at one graph, there is maximum of four values. But separately you can watch up to 12 different graphs. Then of course you have option to record this data. So this will record all of these data parameters. Once I stop recording, I can even choose file name. Okay, so what other options we have here? Let's now go to the different module, for example, engine electronics or body module. And let me show you some more features, for example, bidirectional testing. So with bidirectional scanner, you can test a bunch of different components in the body modules, for example, high beam lights, your turn signals, fog lights, only one fog light work for me. We saw that already in fault codes or then I have tested my wind chill vipers just to show you how bidirectional testing works. So you can activate these components. Now I am in body module. If I go to engine, there will be different tests like engine fan, fuel pump relay. Every control module will have different tests. So next what you can do is adaptation. Adaptation is for customizations and service. For example, this is key from this car but remote control does not work. But using this simple adaptation, I will just adjust value, hit save, adaptation success, and now my key is working after performing the remote adaptation. Then you also can do long coding. If you have VACAR, you know this from VCDS because VCDS is made for these adaptations and long coding. So it is very convenient that the scan tool manufacturers are including adaptations, basic settings, long coding, basically that brand OEM functionality into the scan tool that works with all cars. So we don't have to buy that many different scanners. By the way, in this coding, what I did, if you remember, these are default codes and we have fault code for food well lights not working but I don't even have food well lights installed so I will code it out I will untick this box so by adjusting this code I let my car know that I don't have food well lights and now I can clear that code before it was permanent before I couldn't clear it but now it is cleared only code left is for fog light which doesn't work so it will be permanent Okay, so this is Volkswagen, but I also want to show you the scanner on another car. So let's go to my new Alpha 147. I just bought it for 200 euros and it works sometimes, but 200 was too good price to pass on. So I just bought it. So like always, plug in scanner, turn on the ignition. Unfortunately, I have lost footage from scan tool. So hopefully you can see on screen what I will do. Okay, so let's check the service procedures i haven't talked about them yet so these are all supported service resets you get with mucar 892 bluetooth but they are also adding new ones for example after the recent update you have auto check not this odometer reset but on the left you can see auto check as well and auto check will go over all control modules and it will check mileage and it will give you report of all found mileage records so basically what i thought before on this channel how to see if car has real mileage but what we did manually we can now do with this new car with service reset but i have choose this other reset because i am curious if we can adjust mileage i have tried it with x tool but this alpha is very weird it says on x tool scanner that mileage was adjusted but it wasn't so I want to try. I don't think it will, but I want to give this Mucar chance to adjust mileage <laughs> just for experimenting purposes. And then one more important detail. Check this out. When I click this odometer reset, here are all supported brands, but there isn't Alfa Romeo. So you would think it cannot be used for Alfa. However, when I went to that full scan page, so this like home page after you connect vehicle and go to common functions here on top, I clicked common functions and here we have instrument panel calibration. So now it will scan modules to see which type of instrument cluster I have. Okay, now I go to special functions and here we have reset odometer and odometer write. So I will try input mileage, let's say 120,000. But after I inputted it, 
It gave me success message, however when you look on odometer there is still old value over 200,000. So the same thing that happened with Xtool happened with MuCare. Both scanners give the success message after performing mileage change, but it didn't work. I am suspecting this alpha because it had a bunch of different problems with immobilizer, engine control units. I know it has been through a bunch of different car electricians. So I am not surprised. This car is very weird sometimes with OBD2 scanners. Because normally, if it doesn't work, you will get message on scanner like it is not supported or not successful. But every time I got message successful on scanner, the procedure was done. Not like in this case. Message successful, but nothing is done. So this is fault of car most likely. Now here in the menu you got a bunch of different options. We have OBD tab, so you can use global OBD, you have history, you have reports, so your diagnostic reports, and we have this dollar fix community, which is advertised as part of the scanner. And if you go to this dollar fix community, there are a bunch of different guides from DIY mechanics, car technicians. So if you are about to do some service on your car, maybe you will find a guide in this dollar fix community, or you could make one yourself. So this is preview of features you will be able to do with this MuCar 892. One more time, if you want to buy it, usually the best price will be on the MyThinkCar website. It is linked in the description. Use coupon code CARHACKER for extra 10% off. And yeah, I can definitely recommend this scanner. You have free lifetime updates. It will be very useful for everyone dealing with cars. Whether you are a car shop, you are checking used vehicles, especially for checking used vehicles, because I did a lot of these checks and this is probably best scanner for it. It is small, so it is easy to carry around, but it is also very fast. And this is the key thing you want to have. You want to scan codes and look at live data fast when you are checking used car. Okay, so link is in the description and I will see you in the next review.